Hello, everybody. Hey, today I'm going to do what we've been talking about or what I've been talking about for a while. I'm going to attempt to turn this thing into a bird feeder. So um, I know it doesn't look like a bird feeder right now, but I think it'll look like a cool bird feeder when I'm done. So let's, um, let's get started. Okay, well, if there's one thing I know about me, is that my name is not Grace, and I'm sure there's a reason for that. And I also know if I don't come up with some kind of a way to hang on to this thing, I'll drop it sometime before I finish the project. I have a, a hole saw, and I'm going to knock a hole in this board. This is a board hole knocker. So, instead of blowing the back of the hole out, if you flip the board over, get a respectable cut. So all we're going to do, flip this over. Uh, not an advertisement, they're not a sponsor, but that's what I'm using. Now, what I have are these... Uh, glass and towel carbide tipped drill bits and what I need is a quarter inch I got these for this project so they've never been opened never been used take the quarter inch and where we're gonna go is um, somewhere close to the middle of this and we're gonna slowly drill a hole in the bottom of this As it gets close, you want to back off on your pressure because I don't want the drill to go down and hit it. I'm trying to get this at least part way on the camera. Well, it's pretty thick. All right, we're done with that part. And what we're going to do is put an eye bolt in there. You don't have to use an eye bolt. You can use a um, just a piece of rope with a knot tied in it. There's, there's many different uh, ways this can be accomplished. But for this one today, we're going we're gonna to use a, um, an eye bolt. Okay, for those of you that haven't ever done this, I was going to peel that label off after I drilled the hole. I left it on there to keep the uh, the, the uh, ceramic from splintering too bad. But that doesn't want to come off. It's coming off in little pieces. So you warm that up a little bit, not a whole lot, with a heat gun. And then that will peel right off. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to put this hook on there. You can use an eye bolt, you can use a hook like this, or uh, you can put a piece of rope in there and tie a knot on it, Any anything that you want to do. I'm just going to use this little hook and then so that I don't have to tighten this up a lot, I'm going to use a nylock nut. And if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, it's just a nut with a little bit of nylon inside of it that grabs onto this red, it's a lock nut of sorts. So we'll reach through with a long extension, put that on the inside, and then uh, once the uh, nylon engages, you'll, it's, it's very um, easy to feel, so you can't turn it by hand anymore. So once I get that on there, then 
I'll put a washer on here, put a little silicone. You don't want water going into this. And since this is recessed, water would stand right there. So if you don't put silicone on it, you're going to get water inside the, the feeder. Okay, I've got a, a long extension here. This is going to be hard to do over the camera, so I'm just going to cobble through it. I just drop the, uh, drop the nut into the end of the socket. This isn't really the part that is going to be interesting, and I'm pretty sure most people can figure out how to do this part. The next part that I'm going to do is a little, a little more unique, and maybe some of you haven't seen it before. All right, now we've got the nylock nut screwed onto the other end of this. Um, I don't know four or five turns, just enough to completely engage the threads. And I'm just going to put the silicone on here. Uh, using black silicone, it doesn't matter. You can use clear, whatever color you want. I'm going to use black on the next part of this, which is the reason that I chose this color. And it'll become obvious in a few minutes. And you drill a quarter inch hole. You don't need a whole lot of silicone. Just try to get it all the way around. And then all you're going to do is just finger tight uh, this piece here. And it's got a little, little bit of silicone in the threads. So it's going to, should lock itself on there. If you wanted to double nut this, you could. I don't see any reason to do that, but it certainly wouldn't hurt anything. So this is how it's going to be suspended. Now we'll make the top. This is the part that I think most people are going to um, maybe be surprised by, I don't know, but this is going to be the top of the bottle that will keep the, the bird seed in the bottle and it will dispense the bird seed. <clears throat> the brand of bottle doesn't matter. Whatever you have on hand, you can use the clear ones, you can use the, the green ones. shorten this up just a little bit and it doesn't have to be exactly square exactly straight exactly anything and this little piece here will come off in a minute so this is what the this is the reason I got the black silicone I'm going to put some of this on the inside and the reason I'm doing this is because um, this particular vase is uh, got little corrugations in it and the particular bird seed that I'm going to use um, people call it thistle it's actually Niger and the the birds I'm going to be primarily targeting are um, gold finches which are a native bird here and they really don't like this stuff if it gets wet they're kind of picky so now I've got some silicone inside this. I'm going to drop this down on here. And that's not going to hold it on. But if you take a heat gun, this stuff, a pop bottle, is heat shrinkable. And you just be careful when you get around the top. You don't want to shrink it too much and you don't want to make it uh, go on there sideways. Get a little extra shrinking around where the silicone is. And it's a little hot. It'd be better off if you did this with gloves, but I didn't bring any gloves out. So uh, just do it quickly with my hands. So the silicone makes a nice little seal in there and once this thing is cooled off 
it will, I mean, you, it, even without the silicone, it won't come off. And if this didn't have the corrugations in there, I wouldn't have even put the silicone. And we'll let that cool for a minute or two. Now you could come in and paint this or whatever. I like to leave a little bit of clear on here. And that way, when you run out of bird seed, you can see that you're out of bird seed. And this thing holds quite a bit of bird seed. So it'll take a while for the silicone to set up. But I mean, already I can pick it up uh, just with the, the friction uh, fit when you shrink this on there. And that, that's the little piece of... Uh, label that was still on it so that comes off real easy so to me this makes an interesting bird feeder and I'll show you it's the same as the rest of them that I've made in the past the piece that I'll put on here I'll show you that in just a second because I've got to redo that part of it also there's another reason to to wear gloves when you're doing this um, if any of you remember or saw the video, this is a thing I made before. This will go on, uh, it'll screw right onto there. Almost all the pop bottles have, it, at least with the soda pop, have, or whatever, what do you call it? Pop, Coke, whatever. Almost all of these are the same lids. And what this thing was, was a, a scrunchie, I guess is what they call them. And what I put this on here for so the birds would be able to get to the thistle and uh, it didn't fall all out on the ground. Well, what I didn't count on is the birds, they have a preferred place and they end up poking a hole in here. And what I found out, this stuff is just terrible. And I didn't realize that at the time. And I, I thought maybe this one was just um, old and tired we'll call it but apparently not because I, I bought a new one to replace this one with and it tears up just as easy as this one does so I got some new material that feels at least currently that it's going to be a lot more durable than what this stuff is and that's what I'm going to cover this bird feeder with and it, it's basically the same material or the same type, if you want to call it that, of material. But it's got a lot more strength to it than this does. I don't know what the original purpose of it was. It was on clearance at Walmart. So it's this stuff here. Decorative mesh. So if this is too crinkly, I'll... Uh, I'll turn the volume down. Microphones love crinkly stuff. So that's what this is. I don't even know if Walmart's going to carry it anymore. It was on clearance. But I don't know. It's pretty. Don't know if the birds care about it or not. But I think it's pretty. So what I'm going to do is just cut uh, a little of this stuff off. not even gonna measure it but it's a lot more uh, a lot stronger I don't I was gonna say it's a lot more durable I don't know that yet but I know it currently it's a lot stronger than uh, what this other stuff is just pull the sticks out of here and if you didn't see the other video where I made this thing I'll try to find a link for it and stick it up in the over here somewhere just pull those sticks out of there wrap this around here and you can use hot glue or something to hold it in place I'm not gonna do that today because I'm running out of time I've got five other projects going but I wanted to I wanted to get this video out there okay well I'll, uh, that's what it turns out as. And the kind of the idea behind this is more or less like a sock feeder. And, but this holds a lot more than uh, the sock feeder does. So I'll fill this up in the morning. It's nighttime here. 
I doubt if any birds will show up right away because uh, these um, finches, uh, American goldfinch, they, they don't know what this is yet. So they'll figure it out. And I'll try to get some birds on the feeder and put a video up of that also. Okay, this is the uh, this is what I feed the birds right here, and I'll show you how I get it into the container. <clears throat> it's very very windy today, so I'm using an AG v, uh, AGD yeah uh, lav mic to try to kill some of the wind, and I I put the bird seed in a little container that's just easier to deal with than trying to get it out of the bag all the time. And then I'll show you how I get it into the bird feeder. And this stuff smells wonderful. It smells like uh, sunflower seeds. Let's see if I can get a little look at that. It's a tiny little but the size of a grain of rice or a little smaller anyway i've got this feeder up here and what i'm i don't have a you, this is a very heavy um, feeder so uh, it's going to need a substantial hook so what i've done i've got a very substantial hook that uh, that this little green feeder is on and all this is is just a dowel rod put little holes in the bottom the birds perch on here eat the seed <clears throat> the balancing act on this kind of feeder is to get the holes big enough they can get the seed out of but not have it so big that uh, the seed just falls out and that's kind of my goal with this feeder but I'm just going to pour this in because I don't have a place to hang this right now and it's very cold and it's very windy and I don't feel like making a place to hang that. So all I do, I take a bottle, cut the bottom out of it, hold my finger over it, scoop up some of the seed and then just transfer it into the other bottle the necks are the same size so it goes in pretty easy and I'm not going to take the time to completely fill this thing I don't think because uh, it is very cold and very windy and I always spill just a little bit of it so I just do it over the container and it falls back into my little container. Well, I guess I am going to fill it all the way up. Okay, <clears throat> so this just screws onto here. And I just, when I made this yesterday, I just used uh, some aluminum wire and uh, twist it. And then you bend over the pokey bits, I'll eventually... Ch uh, change this put some tape on it but everything I do right now is in a hurry so you can see there's bird seed that's accessible to the birds and how much of it's gonna fall directly out I don't know at this point I'll show you what my little hook looks like and it'll take the birds, these are kind of picky birds, it'll take them a week or two or maybe a day or two. See there's the hook that I use, it just goes over a limb and then just hangs on there. And it can be as simple as just these little bottles. This one uh, is the same thing except that I use this stuff as a perch. And then the holes on the bottom down there. They seem to get along with it just fine. So, this is what my new feeder looks like. Um, don't know if anybody's interested in those or not. I, I would be willing to make a few of them and put them on Etsy 
If you're interested, uh, throw something in the comments. And if I, if I take the time to build one and put it on Etsy, I'll put a link in the comments or in the uh, description. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Catch you guys down the road. Thank you.